Hi, everybody. On this Good Friday, whether you're a Christian, a Jew, a Muslim, we all have thoughts about birth, death, and renewal. And that's the Easter time. It's the time of Passover and Ramadan, where we look inside and we reflect. One of the things we're all reflecting about is the need for rebirth as a society. We think of that and all of the things that are happening in our world. Nearly half of the world is going to the polls this year. Probably that amount of people or more are frustrated by what's going on in the world today. All of the wars that we see, all of the issues we have with finances, all of the isolation and polarization we all experience. One of the things that I want to do is to try bringing people together and helping that rebirth from the ground up. To that end, I'm going to be starting some free events and broadcasts where they are interactive, where we talk together and we learn together about things we can do all of these broadcasts will be free and they will be my means of connecting even more with you and reassuring everyone that together we can do all sorts of things. Now, why does this just take togetherness? If you are disbelieving in our ability to have a rebirth together, one from the ground up, one that doesn't take gazillion dollars, Think of this one study. It was done by Robert Putnam of Harvard University, who had written that groundbreaking book, Bowling Alone, about the fraying of the social contract in America to the extent where people were and are literally bowling by themselves. They don't have anyone else to go with. So Putnam and his team decided to do surveys all across America, in all kinds of, of towns and cities, to find out what made for people's happiness. And what he found out right away was it didn't have a price tag, not a big one anyway. When he asked what kind of income made people happy, it was $75,000. That was enough to make people happy. Other than people who were impoverished, that was all it took. What it meant was that people were able to pay their bills, pay their mortgage, have a little extra, maybe for a vacation. But any more than that just didn't do it. But what did do it was connecting with others and particularly lending a helping hand. When people did, those people who did were 42% happier than the rest. So this gives us a little bit of a starting blueprint. It's all about what Jesus said, whether you believe in him as a God, a prophet, or just a very smart man. He said, do unto others. And as I see it, with all the thousands of groups, large and small intention groups that I've run through the intention experiment and my power of eight work, it is do unto others in action, in real life. We're demonstrating the power of that because what ends up happening, as all of you know, who are part of power of eight groups, is when you are doing unto others, you receive as well. It's all part of your rebirth too. So I want to remind you of that on this Easter, Ramadan, Passover weekend, but also encourage you to start thinking about what we can do together, how we can communicate and how I can help you in your life. If you like, write it down in the chat of this YouTube broadcast. But I'll be coming back to you soon with some positive information because that's the other thing that we need. 
We all need to get away from the doom and gloom, the doom spiral that is modern media that tells us everything is worse than it's ever been. We need to start talking positively about what we do have, why things aren't quite as bad as that, and what even small groups can do to turn it completely around. So I'll be in touch soon. In the meantime, have a restful, beautiful weekend and think of a rebirth and renewal for yourself and your group. Thanks for listening.